KSBW Weather with Jim Vanderswan. Fog and low clouds the last few days. Last week, remember, we had all that beautiful clear sky and offshore flow. We'll try to get back to that, but it's not getting near as warm. We had some fog out in the Central Valley. Most of the coast is clear. We're just pushing a little bit of that low stuff around Monterey right now. Everybody else looking at stars. Temperatures rebounded a bit. 70s for all of Santa Cruz County. Just barely in a few spots, but close enough. Upper 60s, low 70s, overnight lows anywhere from the 40s on into the low 50s. So it all landed about where expected. 50s, about 25 degrees warmer during the day. Most of the salad bowl of the world. Santa Clara Valley, not quite as warm, but you only missed it by a couple of points, so it's still a nice day. That low cloudiness kept the Central Valley much cooler, upper 50s, low 60s there. You ended up with 60s and 70s in Southern California, 80s out in the deserts, all the way to about Phoenix, 79 there, 70 in Dallas, and then about half that warm. Boy, it is still another cold day here, and it's just relentless, and it's not over with yet. Temperatures right now well below freezing, almost freezing in Atlanta, Georgia, and having a lot of problems. It's going to be one expensive winter. Already snow is moving to the Great Lakes right now. This is really nasty stuff, freezing rain. That's the stuff that's right in between that border, the really cold air, and then uh, the warmer air. So that's going to be, of course, all it does is freeze at night, and they got big problems. This mass of moisture is going to move all the way into the Ohio, Tennessee Valley, all the way up to the New England states over the course of the next two days. Right behind it, very strong pressure gradients, meaning a lot of wind and another good shot of really cold air to make sure that snow doesn't go anywhere. Travel is going to be hampered on the East Coast. They've got uh, some cells working into the West as well. <coughs> Excuse me, getting close to us. Nothing from this far west, though, or even the southwest. It's actually a very weak impulse that's going to be diving down, forming a new low right over California. But we're on the backside of that low, so that doesn't usually bring us much in the way of precip. Here you can see the trough forming. Could bring some showers into the Sierra Nevada on Sunday. Close, maybe around the mountains of San Benito and South Monterey County. Could be a few sprinkles. Not likely to get over the valleys, but there's always that slight chance. 10 or 20 percent, and then the whole thing's gone. It's not going to be a significant event as far as the rain that we we really would like to have. Maybe still next weekend, but even that's borderline. Clouds and rain could be in the mix there. Our microcast picking up on a little bit of moisture. The heavier stuff's going to be out in the Central Valley and up in the Sierra Nevada. Tomorrow we also still have the southerly surge. We looked at that yesterday on the microcast. Still in uh, tap for tomorrow evening. That will cool things down a little bit. So Saturday will be the warmer, sunnier day. Sunday will be cloudier and gray and a little bit cooler in places, but not a lot of wet to go around, I'm afraid. Temperatures still in the 60s with a few left over 70s. Overnight lows still hanging on to 40s, but it won't be long before we start seeing some 30s once uh, that cold air with that upper low comes through. So uh, we're not looking at a lot of frost or anything like what you're seeing in Boston, but definitely a little bit of a change for us. Just a reminder that winter is not quite finished with us yet. And nice numbers for Santa Cruz County. Plenty of sunshine after a little patchy fog in the morning and then fog coming in later in the night as well, because Santa Cruz will always get that southerly surge smack in the face just about dinner time. Mostly sunny then. We'll put that uh, stratus along the coast, and then we'll add more clouds overnight. That gets you a cloudy day on Sunday with a slight chance, maybe 10, 15 percent, mostly south of about Soledad, and typically over the hills. You don't get a lot over the valleys, but you never know. You might get lucky and see a raindrop just so you can see what it looks like. We haven't seen a lot of those. Yeah. They're really kind of cute. 30s uh, coming into the mix there about the middle of the way, starting Monday already in the morning. Daytime temperatures scaling back to mostly 50s and 60s. And like I say, that chance of rain doesn't affect most of us where most of us live, but we'll put it in there just in case, keep you updated throughout the weekend. That's right. what we do here on the Big Eight. That's what yeah. we do. Yeah.